May peace be with you, dear family in Christ. Our blessed community is here another day under the protection and love of our Savior Jesus. All gratitude and praise be to Him now and always, because He is the reason for our faith and our worship. In this moment, we dedicate our hearts and prayers to You, Lord. Accept our gratitude as we move forward. Look, we are reaching the end of the second month of 2024, a true milestone of victory for us. We will continue until the end of this year, celebrating and recognizing the wonders that God will perform in our lives, and recognizing the wonders that God will perform in our lives, a year of protection, growth, prosperity, abundance, and new experiences with the Lord. Everything we dream of, He is capable of making it come true, no matter the challenges we face. Before continuing, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications if you are facing a difficult moment today. If your eyes lead you towards discouragement, remember that our vision can deceive us. The Holy Spirit touched my heart with a message for all of us. God has been preparing us. This journey has been one of learning divine direction in our lives. Go even deeper in faith because it will be essential to overcome the obstacles that lie ahead. At the end of this year, I prophesy that all of us present now and those who will join us either personally or through this video will reach the end of this year with achievements. In the name of our powerful Jesus, I declare over your life, no matter what happens, you will overcome. You will have incredible stories of faith to share by the powerful name of Jesus. If you believe in this word, write Amen in the comments. Let's keep this connection of faith and encouragement. Remember, it is not only about surviving, but about witnessing the greatness that God will do in and through us. Remain firm, nourish your faith and be prepared for the wonders that God has prepared for those who love Him and trust Him. The path may have its challenges, but the victory is certain for those who remain with the Lord. Therefore, brothers and sisters, as we move forward in this year, let us keep our hearts and minds open to receive everything that God has for us, whether it is a journey of teachings, of spiritual growth, or overcoming challenges. We are together in this, supported by unwavering faith in Jesus. And remember, every step we take is a testimony of the love and strength that God gives us, so that we can move forward with courage, confidence, and above all, with the peace that only He can give us. Dear brothers and sisters, today I want to share something special that God has placed on my heart since the beginning of this month. God has been encouraging us to prepare to seek more of Him, to pray more intensely, to dive deeper into our faith, and to believe beyond what we can see. Our eyes should not be guided only by what is visible, but to move forward firmly in faith. Although the future is uncertain, God has a wonderful plan for each of us. At this moment, while I was praying, God has revealed that despite the challenges, we will persevere. Remember Psalm 91, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. This promise is fulfilled in us, marking the end of our journey of faith with victory and glory to the Lord. There are two testimonies that I would like to share with you today. If you have a story of faith and improvement, share it with us. Together, let's strengthen ourselves with each testimony of how God acts wonderfully in our lives. Let's open our Bibles to Psalms 91 and let's declare together this word of protection and faith. While I was preparing my food, God spoke to me clearly, reminding me of the prophet Ezekiel when God asked him if the valley of dry bones could revive. Ezekiel answered, only you know, Lord. Many of us are in this place of uncertainty, looking at the challenges and thinking only God knows. 
but it is precisely in faith, not in sight, where we find our strength. Walking by faith lifts us above storms, knocks down giants, above storms, knocks down giants, opens doors, and brings liberation. It is through faith that we position ourselves to live the divine purpose because everything cooperates for the good of those who love God. Then, in the face of scenarios that seem without exit, our God is the God of the impossible. He challenges us to prophesy about our situations, to not give up on declaring victory even when all seems lost. With authority, let us declare life over the valleys of dry bones of our existence because by releasing the word of God, we will witness the miracle of renewal and restoration. When our carnal eyes see impossibilities, God sees opportunities to manifest his glory. Perhaps we are in this challenging scenario by divine permission so that in the end, we will witness the power of God transforming the impossible into possible never give up even if it seems like you have tried everything continue to proclaim I and my house will serve the Lord believe in restoration and renewal and the closing of painful cycles, in the baptism with the Holy Spirit, and in the complete transformation of life. Always remember, you serve a God that can do infinitely more than we ask or think. So I encourage you, never give up. Keep your faith firm in the unwavering power of God. At this moment, at this exact hour, we cry for God to manifest his strength among us. We ask that he reveal his signs, wonders, and miracles. May the Holy Spirit of God flow freely among us, filling our hearts and minds. We praise you, Lord, and confess our total dependence on your transforming presence. Lord, we ask you to transform our struggles and challenges, to untie the knots of our lives with your grace and power, showing us signs and wonders as promised in your word. After all, miracles accompany those who persist in faith, not those who give up or stop praying. Remember, it is a daily journey, not just a temporary commitment. The goodness and mercy of the Lord help us. They will continue all the days of our lives. Absorb this, receive it in your heart, and live under that powerful truth in the name of Jesus. Those who take refuge in the Lord, who reside under his protection, are above any adversity. God, in his majesty and authority, is our safe refuge and our unbreakable strength. In God, we place our trust because He promises us deliverance. With faith, we will declare that God will deliver you from all dangers, that His faithfulness will be our shield and protection. We will not fear the terrors of the night nor the threats of the day, because we will be safe under the guard of the Most High. A thousand may fall at our side, 10,000 at our right, but no evil will reach us. We will observe with our own eyes divine justice, knowing that the Lord is our refuge, our safe abode where no evil can touch us. God has commanded his angels to guard us in all our ways. They will support us, preventing us from stumbling or falling. Under divine protection, we will face and overcome the most fearsome challenges because we love the Lord deeply. He has promised us salvation, placing us in security. When we call on Him, He will answer us. He will be with us in adversities, will free us and exalt us. God promises to bless us with a long life and will reveal to us His glorious salvation. Therefore, hold on to this promise. Live with faith and hope, knowing that the power of God is at your side, ready to transform any reality. Trust, trust, and trust even more in the Lord because He is faithful to fulfill each of His words in your life. By continuing on this journey of faith, I want to reinforce the importance of remaining firm even when circumstances seem unfavorable. In times of uncertainty, 
Remember that God's faithfulness is not only a promise for good times but a beacon of hope in the storms of life. He calls us to be resilient, to face challenges with our heads held high, knowing that we are not alone. Our faith is not based on what is seen, but on the invisible, on the sovereign power of God that operates beyond our understanding. When we declare our trust in the Lord, we are affirming that above all, we believe in His ability to change the course of our lives, to transform the valley of dry bones into flowering fields, to bring life where there was only death. This is the time to raise our voices in prayer, not with desperate requests, but with declarations of faith. It is time to prophecy over our lives, our families, our situations, believing that the word released in the spiritual world has the power to change what is natural. Do not allow fear or doubt to silence your voice. Fear or doubt to silence your voice. On the contrary, let your faith be the cry that sounds in the valleys, moving the heavens in favor. God invites us to rest in His presence, to find peace under His wings, in this place of refuge. We are reminded that there is no battle. He cannot overcome. There is no mountain he cannot move. Therefore, instead of looking at circumstances with fear, look to God with hope. He is the author and finisher of our faith, the one who initiates and completes the work in our lives. Therefore, brothers and sisters, May this message serve as a reminder of the unbreakable power of faith. May we position ourselves as spiritual warriors armed with the Word of God, ready to face any adversity. Remember, the Lord is with us. His love, His grace surrounds us, and His power enables us to encourage each of you to cling to the promises of God, to live each day with the certainty that He is working in your favor. May your faith be the key that unlocks the doors of blessing. May your praise be the weapon that defeats the enemy. And may your life be a living testimony of the love and power of God. Let us move forward, not only surviving but thriving under divine guidance. Witnessing the impossible become possible because we serve a God who knows no limits. Stay firm, keep believing, and never give up. For with each new dawn, we are blessed with new mercies, new opportunities to see the hand of God working in our favor. So be it in the holy and powerful name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now let us pray to God the Father. Father, here you have a model of Christian prayer to the Heavenly Father. Loving and merciful Father, here you have a model of Christian prayer to the Heavenly Father. Loving and merciful Father, I humbly come before you in this moment of prayer to express my gratitude for all the blessings you have showered on me and my family. You are the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and it is with reverence and adoration that I approach you, Lord. I recognize that in my journey I have not always been faithful. I have not always followed your commandments as I should. I humbly ask for forgiveness for my sins, for all the times I have failed to honor your name and obey your precepts. May your infinite grace envelop me and purify me, washing me from all iniquity so that I may be in perfect communion with you. Heavenly Father, in this world full of challenges and tribulations, I recognize my dependence on you. Without your guidance and protection, I'm lost. I ask that your powerful hand always be upon me, guiding me in your paths of justice and peace. Empower me unwaveringly, Lord. I trust in you, my concerns and desires. You know the desires of my heart and the needs of my soul. In your infinite love, take care of me and those I love. Give me strength to overcome obstacles, patience to endure trials, and wisdom to make the right decisions. Heavenly Father, I ask you, 
especially for those who are suffering at this time. Comfort the afflicted, heal the sick, strengthen the weak. May your presence be felt by all who are facing difficulties, bringing them hope and comfort. Furthermore, Lord, I want to praise and worship you for your wonders. You are worthy of all honor and glory because you are the God who works miracles, the God who transforms lives, the God who loves us unconditionally. May my life be a reflection of your love and your grace so that others can see your light shining through me. Heavenly Father, I give you my dreams and aspirations, knowing that you have the best for me. Help me to live according to your purposes, always seeking your kingdom and your justice in all areas of my life. We continue, O oh Father. This prayer seeks to deepen our connection with you by immersing ourselves in your presence with sincerity and devotion. You are the God who knows the most intimate secrets of our being, the one who searches our hearts and understands us completely. In this moment of communion, we open our hearts before you without reservation, trusting in your infinite mercy and grace. Help us to grow in love, O oh Father, both towards you and towards our neighbor. May we love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and love our neighbor as ourselves. Train us and seek reconciliation in all our relationships. Teach us, O oh Heavenly Father, to live in harmony with your creation. Grant us wisdom to care for the environment by protecting the resources you have given us and preserving the beauty and diversity of nature. Help us to be good stewards of the earth, acting responsibly and with integrity towards our environment. Strengthen our faith, O oh Father, so that we can remain firm even in the face of adversity. We know that in this world we will face afflictions, but we trust that in you. We find peace and comfort in placing our trust completely in you, knowing you are capable of doing infinitely more than we ask or think. We desire that every word we utter, every thought we cultivate, and every action we perform be pleasing to your eyes. Help us train ourselves for our calling reflecting your holy character in everything we do. Father, keep us from evil and deliver us from danger, knowing the enemy is always lurking to divert us from your path. Yet we trust in you for protection and security, believing your armor covers and strengthens us to resist the attacks of the evil one. Grant us a generous heart to share the blessings we've received with those in need, becoming instruments of your love and compassion. Empower us, Heavenly Father, as we entrust you with the future, knowing you are in control of all things. Our hope is firmly rooted in you, for you are faithful to fulfill all your promises. Enable us to live each day with confidence and expectation, knowing your plan for us is good, pleasant, and perfect. Father, may we continue on this journey of communion with you, seeking to immerse ourselves even more deeply in your presence and abundant grace. In this sacred moment, we surrender our hearts before you, recognizing your majesty and sovereignty over all things. You are the eternal God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and in you we find our security and refuge. We thank you, Beloved Father, for every blessing you pour upon us, from the gift of life to the smallest joys that fill our hearts. May our lips overflow with praise and gratitude for your endless goodness. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for our failures and transgressions. We acknowledge our shortcomings in loving you above all things and our neighbors as ourselves. Cleanse us from all sin and renew us by your purifying grace. We know the journey of life is full of challenges and trials, but we trust in you to find the strength to persevere. May your Holy Spirit comfort us in times of sadness and guide us in the paths of justice. Father, fill us with your love so that we may truly love others as you have loved us. May we reach out to those in need 
sharing our bread with the hungry and offering comfort to the afflicted. Let our love be a reflection of your unconditional love that knows no limits or boundaries. May we always seek your will in all things and obey your commandments with joy and devotion. Keep us from the attacks of the enemy, knowing that in you we find security and protection. Give us a generous heart to share your blessings with the least fortunate, making us instruments of your love and grace, in unity with our brothers and sisters in Christ. May we love each other as you loved us, seeking reconciliation and peace in all our relationships. Help us forgive those who have hurt us and extend the hand of friendship and love to all those we meet on our path. Open our eyes to the needs of those around us, Father, so that we may be instruments of your love and grace in their lives. May we be sensitive to the pain and distress of others, reaching out with compassion and solidarity. Now, Heavenly Father, we entrust to you our plans, dreams, and aspirations for the future. May we completely surrender to your will, trusting that your plans for us are of hope and prosperity. In this journey of faith and devotion, deepen our intimacy with you, Father, so that we may know you more deeply. May our hearts be like fertile soil, ready to receive the seed of your word and produce abundant fruits for your glory. Train us to stay in communion with you at every moment of the day, strengthening us when we are weak and guiding us in all truth. May our faith remain firm in the face of adversity, anchored in your faithfulness and love. Remember me here in this time as you listen and follow my direction. Remember that I am always with you even if you feel misinterpreted, ignored, and alone in your battles. I love you beyond comparison. I am here now ready to listen and help you to become a person of happiness, blessing, and wealth. Today, pay attention to my words since they will help your soul to be liberated, comfortable, and peaceful. My child, do not hide from me for nothing since it would cut off our relationship. Fight the need to let the demands of life overwhelm you or cause hopelessness. Keep yourself unaffected by the damaging activities of the opponent. Rather, let me assist you, hold you in my hug, and guide you on the road of life, along the road of righteousness, where peace, happiness, and tranquilly abound. Holding your hand as we travel toward the fulfillment of my promises to you, let me lead. Know that I will never desert you, no matter how difficult the present problems appear. I am here by your side always supporting and cradling you in my hug. My most wish is for you to lead a rich and joyful life. Know that I am always with you, in every heartbeat, every breath you take, and in the most profound sense of your soul even in times when my presence feels far away. Regardless of the environment, I am dedicated to looking after you, lending my love and encouragement. My child, I thus advise you to put your trust in me, open your heart totally to my direction, and hand your life to me. Let me handle whatever that disturbs you and could cause the benefits I have in store to vanish. Leave your worries with me, I will guide you to success, contentment, and wealth. I swear I never will let you down. I am here to soothe you, to listen, and to help you to reach your objectives. I only want your trust in me, in return, I promise you a life full with many blessings. I will improve your life in all spheres so that it bears evidence to my love, grace, and pardon. Let me say that people who believe in me will never experience disappointment. Recall, cherished child, my love for you is unbounded. Love beyond our comprehension. Aim not for perfect understanding of it. Rather, just believe in my always present support, my undying love, and my direction toward a road of happiness, pleasure, and abundance. Walking with me, my child, on this road of faith and trust never stops. As you do, 
You will get to know my depth of knowledge and empathy. You will find comfort in my company for your tired heart and fortitude for the next challenges. Remember my wisdom is endless and my love for you is relentless. Ask my direction in the solitude of your quiet times. Look to me when the sounds of the world get louder and its demands seem insurmount. I will offer tranquility and clarity to help you negotiate the complexity of life. My words are real facts relevant to every obstacle you encounter, not only old books. Let my vows to anchor your heart while you negotiate every day. Your trip is not unique. Your constant friend, your guide, and your defender is me. Know me there to guide you to a place of fulfillment and purpose in every decision, every action, every time of doubt. So let the beauties of my love to expand your heart. Allow it to replenish you, change you, and guide you toward a life of actual delight and pleasure. Trust in me and with each other we shall walk this road, forging a route line with grace, fortitude, and the beauty of relentless faith. Love, peace, hope, a future, all the things you need, are found in me. Hold on to my words. Allow them to be the lamp upon your feet, leading you across darkness into the promise and love of my lifetime. Beloved child, I have blessed you on this wonderful day. Let my word uplifting your heart. Get it, it will inspire you, give you strength and confidence. I know all about you, hence this word will change your present and bring hope for your future. Knowing every idea and feeling, including your despair and the demoralizing effect that has engulfed your heart and head, helps me to relate to you. I understand that, given all lost, you have often felt that quitting up is a reasonable alternative. Still, I would want to tell you differently. Let your dreams be killed and destroyed by the lays of the enemy not. Turn aside every lie and dishonesty that have crept into you. Using my name, expel all the deeds of the evil one. Know that my darling child is here for you to advise not to give up or submit. Your time is still running. You have to keep going. Not fear, today I will equip you with power and faith. Today, I give you fresh strength like a buffalo would enable you to rise. Everything you have to do is concentrate everything you are on my promises. Since all I have mentioned will come true. In your life you will see my power and splendor. You will witness how my will's intended use is satisfied in you. I want you to avoid depending just on what your eyes can see since it will only cause stress and disappointment in your life. Again, give me your whole confidence, open the eyes of faith, and start to see what I am already arranging in your benefit. Soon the blessings I am painstakingly creating for your life will show themselves. So give your heart totally to me, not to your own wisdom. Stop waiting upon mankind, instead, put your faith and hope totally in me. I and only I have the ability to bring something dead back to life. Just I can create a road where none exists. Your lips now belong to confessing Benedict words. See how my blessings open out in all aspect of your life. Profess my word even in the middle of difficulty, it will show results for you. Remember that actual faith is tested among the demands of daily life. So now declare my word, firmly to keep my commitments. Take hold of my hand and I promise you you will come out of every difficulty triumphant. Your faith will grow and get cleaner than the best gold. Think of me and know I will keep my word. Then you will see your hopes realized. All you always wished for and dreamed about will come to pass. For I do not let those who rely on me downfall. Now, come, dear one. Rise, beloved, and approach my altar. Stop squandering any more time trying to do things your way. 
Come forward and show before me all your ideas. Turn your hopes and aspirations to me. You know that everything put to my care will grow. Remember my words great truth. Actually, you are the branches and I am the vine. Should you still be in me and I in you, you will bring great fruit. You can do nothing without me. Thus, my child, I ask you today to start trusting me again. Don't wander from my presence. Accept my promises and regularly declare my word. This will help you to be sure that your efforts will be profitable. Under my direction, you will more rapidly and broadly reach your objectives than you could have imagined. Commit yourself to looking for me day and night. I will attend to all your requirements. You will have blessings and plenty in your life. You will come to see the great and potent promise realized. I has not seen, ear heard, nor entered the heart of man the things God is ready for those who love him. So awaken your faith. Begin to see the blessings just waiting to enter your life. Get up now and bless. See how your life turns into evidence of my love and grace. For those of belief, anything is achievable. Let me help you to lead a life full with happiness and plenty. Guide us in all our decisions and choices, Father, that we may seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. Transform us in the image of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, so that we may live lives of humility, love, and service to others. Fill us with your love and presence, Father, and seal us with your love and presence, Father, and seal us with your Spirit as a guarantee of our eternal inheritance in Christ. May our lives glorify your name now and forevermore. Finally, we entrust to you our fears and anxieties about the future resting in the certainty of your